Hi, my name is Dr. Elizabeth Princeton, and I wanna to read to you something today about barriers. I know everyone that I'm talking to has barriers. Even if you're perfect, whole and complete, just as you are and just as you're not, you have barriers. And why do I know that? Because you're human. So we do the best that we can in our humanness. Eckhart Tolle said this, to offer no resistance to life is to be in a state of grace, ease, and lightness. The barrier beach makes us feel safe and protected, but the sea accepts no barriers. The shore gives, withdraws, shifts. It achieves grace and beauty. Gorgeous curves, secret islands, everything fits, everything in its place. Only the barrier beach stands against the, and long against the sea. It doesn't fit. It is hard and straight. Life is relentless like the sea. Its waves beating a constant path, let go. Soften, shift, blend, be a part of life. Feel the pulse, live it. The barrier is a barrier to life. Cancer is a barrier. Hard when you hold it in your hand. Growing, it does not protect you. It hides your beauty. Remove the barrier. Let life be exposed. Grow, love, weather the forces of nature. So I wanna ask you today, what would it be like to offer no resistance and to just flow with life? Doesn't mean you still don't have a routine and it still doesn't mean you have boundaries and it still doesn't mean that, you know, your life is gonna be peachy king. But how often we fight when we need to stop. And I'm gonna share with you here at the end how I did that in my own life. I'm a fighter, I'm a warrior queen but I like to be gracious, kind, caring, and flow with life. I don't like to always push. It's exhausting. When I came back from Africa, not only did I have to deal with an arm that was hurt, but they diagnosed me with PTSD and I literally lost my mind. My friends and my family said, oh, you need to get up, you need to push through. And I had to think about it because what have I always done? I've always done the push through. I've always resisted. I haven't gone with the flow. I decided to do my life differently. And when I did, I died in ways I never imagined. But I wanna tell you what happened then. It was the most amazing rebirth of my entire life. And the only way it happened is because I didn't resist. I accepted what was, did whatever research I could to find out a holistic kind of doctor to help me heal PTSD. I had many medical doctors in regards to my elbow. And what felt like hell was actually my healing ground. And from there I discovered that only when you stop, you sit, you quit fighting and you go with the flow that you will actually heal your life. So I wanna encourage you today, stop. Stop doing, stop pushing. Take a deep breath, be gracious, be kind. Go with the flow and let me know how it goes. If you need help, you know where to find me.